All right, guys, we blew up the truck again. Here's the story. All right, guys, this is kind of a quick recap. We're gonna do a big monster video pretty soon, but I just wanna get this out there so you can see it pretty quick what's going on. We had a big dyno day today, and- um, We're at the Ultimate Call Out Challenge 2021. And our main engine was hurt from yesterday's drag race. We've had a lot of problems with our valve train, tulipping valves, and it took out the cam lifters on our main engine. And so it became obvious the only way we were gonna make our dyno run was to put in the backup motor. So this engine got thrown in the truck, what? Today. Today, first time it's ran since we first refreshed First fire it. was about two hours ago. And uh, the guys got warmed up, hot retorque. We went over the dyno ready. We had the water system full of water and you had one kit of nitrous loaded on the truck? Just, yeah, just one kit. Just no. a small, like, 100 jet, nothing crazy. Yep. We don't normally spray this truck, but we wanted to go for 3,000 horsepower. Yeah. We hit 2,700 on our dyno about two or three times last week, repeatedly. <laughs> on the main engine. So we were feeling pretty confident, but we thought, well, this engine's pretty good, hopefully it holds together. And uh, anyway, we got it loaded up and ready to go, and everything was going really well. And, um, Man, I, start, I started third gear to spool the turbos and I shifted to fourth and that's when I give it full power. And it was just taking it awesome. It was, I mean, it was super loud, super great. It's probably 250 pounds of boost, yeah. just, just eating it. Just going awesome. Ripping through the pole. Yeah, it was really, it was really exciting until it psh, blew up, man. And it blew up spectacularly. The, the hood's off, you can see the engine's here. I didn't see that at first. All I saw was a big ball of fire right off from my windshield.
everybody asked me how scared I was, and I'm kind of in the safest spot. I have a whole shield around me. And uh, the, the dyno operator, Cody, he was, he was off in a hurry. He's jumping for his life. He was gone, and I <laughs> felt bad because the guy's so scared, which I would be scared if I was him too. And I'm just sitting there hearing the dyno go, and I hear parts flipping around. So I'm on my brakes trying to stop the engine and the rods from flipping around in here. I'm watching the flame come, and then here comes the fire extinguishers, and it's like a waterfall of light <laughs> puts out puts out the the flame, and and I just I'm feeling terrible. I'm like, oh man, but I step out of the truck and just cheers, woo! Which how people are excited they get to see a big show, and I'm like, well, that's cool, you know. And one guy way up in the stands says, Todd, Todd, Yo. I got your piston. He's holding my piston in it's his hand. It's the back of the grandstand. Oh. So a piston, I think there's footage of piston ejected out of the truck. Yes. And you can see it in slow motion yes. leaving. It hits the Indianapolis, Indianapolis big P. sign, like 80 feet in the air. It's a P, punches a hole in the sign, and then falls back down and hits the grandstand. The grandstands shake because oh. that piston hits so hard. Luckily, it didn't hit anybody in the oh. head. I mean, you see these videos, I'm sure you've seen them online, of parts raining down on people. You just like, it's raining metal bits. And I'm like, it makes me just sick to my stomach thinking about it. Like, I'm so glad nobody got hurt. Cause I mean, piston and rod fell on the bleachers, wrist pins fell on the bleachers. And it was like, <laughs> I just can't believe somebody get hit. It's just terrible. Um, but luckily nobody got hurt and uh, it, was, it was just crazy. And everybody asked me like, what did you think? What did you feel? And, when it happens, it's not the first time I've been in a blow up. That's exactly thing happened to me before. This time I was standing still though. I wasn't going 150 before, miles. Before you were going 150 and it was at 8,000 RPM. When yeah, I so this last one wasn't near as violent as that. That one was much more violent than this one. Um, this one blew up and you feel like a, a shock wave, a compression wave. You actually feel it hit you. Poof. It's really so interesting. It like just hits you on the you chest. Just, yeah, like like the best, like your subwoofer system times 90. I mean, it's awesome. Like if you're <laughs> in a you sub, guys that shoot Tannerite, it's kind of like when you touch some yes. off and you get that little shock wave. Yes. Very similar as the as I was standing down below, and when I saw that fireball, I could feel the heat on my face from the, the People the in the fire. stands were telling me how they could feel the heat, and I felt the heat, but I was just sitting here like I'm protected, and we all the holes in my firewall we've covered with leather, so I'm, I'm really nothing comes to me. Like I'm in good shape, and all the all the energy is going sideways. Like I'm not in the path of, you know, the, where things want to go. And the transmission stayed together. So like when Baca blew up, he had transmission parts coming through his floorboard at him. Yeah. Your transmission and it's everything fine. forward of the adapter plates there, and the crank is still sitting. And those good Wagler rods hung in there with those yeah. big rod bolts. Last time we blew up, the Carrillo rods ejected and flew yeah. off. This time. All the rods stayed in there, so but those yeah, big rod bolts held. The, the, the crew was really good. They got the fire put out quick. I mean, it was really quite awesome. They were very concerned about my safety. And honestly, I was like, well, crap, did it again. So I walked out of the truck and people were cheering. I wave and try to like- This guy's bringing bits. Hey, can you sign this I'm for signing me? It's my, still smoking like, hot, oh, you know? thank you for letting me sign my broken engine piece. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Here's my broken engine. I hope you get a lot of enjoyment out of this. But yeah, anyway, tune in. Cool. It's fun. Guys, tune in after this. We're gonna have a full write-up, full teardown of what's going on, a whole recap of the, the 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 whole event. But note to self: 200 plus pounds of boost on a chassis dyno with you know a little bit of nitrous. A little bit of nitrous. We need a billet block just, for that one. I think we need a billet block next time. Yep. So anyway, tune in later for the big video, and uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you next Be time. Be sure to like and subscribe so that yep. you can uh, catch the updates. Thanks. Absolutely. See ya.